Hi everybody, my name is David Kong. I'm in uh, Goblin Valley in uh, Utah. And if you see the back on the background here, this is amazing. And uh, we can camp one night here. And the weather gonna be hit around probably 91. Today I'm gonna make something different. I'm gonna make it gnocchi. Gnocchi basic what it is is a potato dumpling So the ingredients are very easy. You have potatoes you have Baked potatoes or Russell potatoes would be great. Sometimes you can also so you can use Yukon's potatoes and uh, Flour Parmigiana cheese sea salt nutmeg white peppers and uh, fresh eggs and that's all you need and also of course boiling water first thing you're gonna do is you cut the potatoes big dice onto it you peel it and then you put some salt on the water let it boil and then you cook the potatoes let it cooks until they are really tender forks but there's a forks basic what we hear it's when you poke onto it, it just go enough to inside in there, okay? But not too cooked, then become mushy onto it. So you let it cook around 10 minutes. Depends how the winds are blowing all around here. So right now it's calm and then we blow again. So one of that's cook. Then my what I do, I strain it out. So this is all cooked ready. So I have a potato smash, which I got in the Salvation Army, I think. And I saw that, okay, somewhere, I don't, I can't remember, I think it's Arizona, somewhere. Okay, get this potatoes. And smash it out. Nice. All the good stuff. Now, start making gnocchi. Okay, potatoes already. Flour. Okay, it's basically almost like making a pasta. Okay. this okay get some eggs okay I put two egg yolks look at the eggs this one I bought from the farm too. Incredible. Nothing beats when you have fresh eggs from the farms. And then you have whole eggs. With salt. And remember, potatoes love a little bit more salt. So you can put more salt. Nutmeg, not too much. White pepper, Parmigiana cheese, I just grate it, and then I'm using three fingers, mix up real good, evenly mix, stir a little bit, happy time. Okay, and then we kind of fold it. Mix up real good. Oh, yeah. There you go. 
Can you believe I'm making gnocchi in the middle of desert? And here you go. Flour. It's all purpose flour, by the way. There you go. Turn around. A little bit here. Just a little bit here. Trick about making gnocchi, it's uh, how much flour you, you're gonna put in. Any chef will tell you, okay, you can measure into it, and it's all dependent on humidity. Sometimes you get the flowers a little bit wet, sometimes the, um, it's a little bit dry. So you have to feel it. I know from homes, we're cooking at homes, I will tell you another trick how to do it. As soon as I finish this one, I will tell you how to make it, how to taste it. So the way I feel it is by when I need it, the potato will tell me it's enough or not enough. This is many years of making gnocchi. But for homes, first of all, you put it just enough, let's see the little potato. It start to bind together with the flour. It's like making a pasta dough or cookie dough dough, you say. And then you just bind it and you can see it. It's all the flour combined together nicely. And from this on, on, And this is here, so you basically you want to stop it, okay? So to make sure it's not too hot, not too soft, and just like uh, we call it kind of al dente. So the way you do it, you boil the water, and then you cut it. Beautifully, and then you boil it up. You taste a couple of those, so make sure the water is boiling, and you throw inside that. Get some potatoes out of here. And the way you cook the gnocchi, when it start boiling and it start to float, that should be already. Okay. So meanwhile, I let it boil into it. And I continue to knead all this because I know I need a little bit more flour. So first you do is put less flour, boil it, taste it. If it's too soft, put more flour and continue to knead it. Do it like two times. First one soft, and then the second one you should be pretty good. So I let it boil first. Okay, now here you go. I'm gonna make some gnocchi. See how I put it, cut it up. Using two hands, slowly push onto it and just even out, okay? Again, push in the center, roll, out. In the center, roll, out. And then you keep on doing. So there's one, bench flour again, second one, same thing, press center, slowly move it out. It takes practice, eventually you'll be very good onto it. And sometimes you can feel this one not good, just take it out, redo again, okay? Press again, press again, boom. We do another one. Press it down. Oh yeah, I'm ready for my gnocchi. It's been a while. Nothing, you know, 
beets when you're making a fresh gnocchi. Okay, and flour, same principle. Okay, well, you can see the gnocchi is boiling. We're gonna taste how it goes. Look at that. Dave, you still can't cook. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Continue to do this one. I'm going to finish all this dough. So I'll keep four here. So what I do is some flowers. Win. I cut it perfectly. Yes, beautiful. Put more flour so that way they won't stick together. Get a spatula. Put up together. And here you are. The incredible gnocchi. Look at it. <laughs>